Hello everyone, welcome to your daily card reading for August 3rd, 2014. And I'll start with one tree magic and four chicken cards and then see where it goes from there. Oh, and also I wanted to um, announce that I'm going to do a question and answer to um, the sacrifice turnaround and face. So if anyone wants to um, private message me with questions or, um, yeah, I guess if, if you don't want to post them, you can private message me um, and I can clear up, even if, if something's unclear or, you know, anything, just um, let me know. And um, I've, I've gotten some good feedback and and then I've noticed some things myself that I, I want to uh, kind of go over in detail a little bit more because um, I I need to give like a little bit more information on certain things so um, anyway and then if you haven't checked out the second one um, please do because that one I think is uh, maybe I don't know they're different information but it's totally different from the first one so um, do check out the second one because that's more about um, mass beliefs and, and how, how they're working to um, kind of, with all things equal, it promotes the, the negative, you know, so. Anyway, um, okay, on to the reading. Huh. We got fruitfulness again. So it says, seeds that hold their ground today bear the fruits of present and future happiness. And I'm going to draw another card, because... Um, okay, and then we got insight. As so we got that one recently, we got mulberry tree recently too. Um, but it says undermining influences destroy themselves by destroying their host. Good times and good fortune now return. Okay. Wainada, which represents um, somebody uh, who is really in a miserable situation, kind of getting henpecked, <laughs> and um, and then uh, she was isolated and separated and lived alone for a while, and then um, she joined my flock and was, has ever since been a happy little chicky. So it's like the get out of jail card. Okay, and um, uh, Batia Arcana we got yesterday also, and this is uh, the mysteries, the human mysteries, why things um, happen the way they do, um, why relationships go the way they do, uh, why, why people are the way they are, just the, the mysteries of, um, of humanity that uh, sometimes it's, it's hard to see clearly or you know or in the moment but um you know it, it's also about sensing things and knowing things um you know using using all your senses to kind of navigate through situations okay and sunzi which is um the uh master in the art of war, which is um, really to win first, win before you even have the fight. Anticipate it. Know, know, uh, you know, know your enemy, and uh, be able to greet them in every possible way that they can come at you. So there's no surprises, and um, you're you're ready. And Zaiwi, and she represents um, chronic healing from uh, physical life circumstances, and also um, the body. Chronic healing, chronic healing from, um, you know. Well, it's funny because they they kind of mirror each other, but chronic healing from any any problem that has manifested in your body. And um, I find uh, doing healing work as a healer, um, that's what your body, 
uh, responds to is the life around you. So whatever you um, are not like dealing with in the life around you, it will it will manifest in your body. And um, you know sometimes it's just like impossible to to deal with you know everything in the life around us. So the body will take it on and um, kind of work with it for us, but. Um, you know, we, we still have to work it out um, either, you know, through our body or through our life to relieve our body from from taking on um, these stresses and strains and pressures. So, um, yeah, I, it seems like um, stepping back and looking at all of this, um, first of all, I want to say that this is, you know, this is a chronic thing. People who are in bad situations um, tend to be stuck in them for a while and um, and as we come out of those bad situations we also have you know the healing that happens to our bodies I mean I, I know I was um, under a lot of pressure for a long time um, chronic stress in the United States and I don't have that here but while I was in the United States, this chronic stress made me very tired, and um, I actually like kind of developed fibromyalgia. And, and um, but then when I moved and I got a new life, and you know, with the new energy and the new life, uh, you end up shaking off these physical conditions. So now I'm more energized, and I feel better, and my body doesn't hurt anymore. You know, so um, there are ways that. Uh, you know, healing your life, you you heal your body, and um, and also you know vice versa. So, um, but we have Artika Windata, who um, you know this is about really staying focused on ourselves and caring for our bodies as much as we can, because the faster we um, you know care for our bodies and heal our bodies, we also that will affect our life. So, um, you know, really pay attention to yourself. Um, you know, don't be the mater. Don't, you know, be putting yourself out all the time for other people. You really need to take care of yourself also and empower yourself to, um, you know, move forward in, in life. But um, this is also saying, you know, because we have Artika Windata here. I mean, Artika Windata. Yeah, that's her. Betia Arcana, all these names. <laughs> Betia Arcana, um, next to Artika Weindata. Um, she, she's really, I want to say that you're kind of, you know, there's, there's a, a imprisonment because of an illusion. The, the mysteries are somehow imprisoning a person where, um, you know, it's like they can't see, uh, maybe, or maybe they can see now because we have it paired up with the fruitfulness, you know. But there's something, there's something that is holding them hostage, and maybe they can see it, but they don't know how to deal with it. And, and um, you know, just keep navigating, sense everything, and you know, always, always really be, um, you know, paying attention to your intuition and acting on your instincts, because uh, if you do those two things, uh, you know, act on both your intuition and instincts, um, that's really what's going to, you'll turn around and, you know, realize, oh, you, you did everything perfect, even though you didn't even know what you were doing, you know. The, um, those instincts and uh, your intuition really does uh, guide you, you know. So you, you want to definitely heed warning and, um, you know, Go, go off those deep impulses that the body is driving you to do. And, um, and you know, they're also, they, you know, stay in a, in a cave during the daylight, which is like, um, you know, kind of the, the waking world through day-to-day -day life. It's like they're, they're in a, a safe place, so, um, and they're not really partaking in, in the day-to-day -day world. You know, like as if they're in prison. You know, but they're they're in a safe place. So you gotta, um, you know, remember that. 
even though there is this safe place that you can be in, there's the whole world outside that cave, you know. And uh, when when you do start, um, you know, living the the waking life, the day to day life, and you come out of that cave, um, it's a whole different experience than being in that that um, darkness at night, navigating the world through your senses. You know, it's like all of a sudden the senses. Um, kind of are, are not as uh, necessary for survival anymore when you, when you live your life in the daylight, you know, which means, you know, very consciously and um, versus in, in the realm of mysteries. So um, anyway, uh, you know, and then also uh, with, with Batia Arcana, um, you know, when you get out of prison, that that knowledge of the mysteries really is um, essential to to sharing in this world and being, you know, a leader. Because everybody is dealing with the same set of mysteries. Humanity is humanity, the same everywhere. So we're all dealing with the same set of mysteries. So if you can figure out how to navigate them and um, overcome them, and you know start living your life in the daylight in the conscious you know the conscious realm um, that will really um, empower everybody to to kind of understand you know how you can do it at night but you can also do it daytime you know so um, so anyway but you know this is hopeful with uh, Artico wine data it's just that you gotta pay attention to um, maintaining your happiness and um, and you know keep keeping your focus on your body and the way you feel and making sure that you know you use your instincts and intuition to keep yourself feeling good all the time so um, and yeah I mean this this is basically saying that um, you know the fruitfulness whatever whatever we have inside of us um, and and whatever we learn outside of us um, are, are seeds that that will um, be able to help help our lives prosper in in the present in the future so and then on this side we have the the insight with um, kind of I guess insight of the other and insight into into these chronic issues also um, I almost want to say uh, use these chronic issues to uh, kind of explore the, the problems with your life you know I mean if, if you're really um, you know feeling tired around a group of people there's a reason for that you know your, your spirit and your soul is doing something on some level so um, or if you're you know if you have an injury um, what is it that uh, you need to understand or learn or grow from from the healing process you know and and how do you change your life to accommodate that you know if um, you know I, I remember that um, you know I couldn't walk for three weeks one time in my life because of a slip disc and I had to basically learn how to walk and that that experience really made me realize that um, I was uh, just I was doing so much for other people that um, my body like broke down you know and um, and and then to go into that place of, of humility and then I realized um, that when people were not understanding that I couldn't walk and they were getting angry with me because I couldn't like, you know, I had to take off from work and, um, you know, I, I actually tried to do stuff, but it was just really like Im impossible. And the lack of understanding and compassion like really woke me up to the world around me. So sometimes when you have a vulnerability in your body, you wake up to the world around you, you know, and then um, so it brings you, you know, your own physical condition can bring you insight to the to the world around you and then um, you know Sunzi is is all about um, 
knowing knowing you know how to how to um, really you know get okay sorry about that my um, battery ran out <clears throat> um, but anyway what I was saying is uh, you know since it's really about getting um, you know what you need out of the relationship out of relationships out of um, you know circumstances and um, and also you know handling everything appropriately so that um, it's not a fight you know you don't have to fight you never have to fight um, conflict doesn't have to be a fight it can just be a back and forth in some way that is um, you know positive you can have a total positive back and forth where um, you both get something out of it and learn and grow um, you know a lot of times I mean I think about um, people who came into my life and uh, they weren't meant to stay but during that time we had a, a great exchange and then um, in the end we um, learned really about each other's minds and hearts and then we realized that uh, we really have different paths in life but we paid our respects to each other and we we parted ways you know so it, it's like you know you don't have to um, have a disappointment in an, the ending of relationships or um, the creation of distance between you and another you know this it can all be good in fact you you can only walk away from a person um, fully by by having a positive parting if you don't have a positive parting you're going to be bound to this person until you get that positive parting you know so um, Zywee is like really kind of healing your life and um, you know choosing life you know so it's like okay um, this you know this in my life has served its purpose and um, I needed that for my life at that time but now it's time for me to move on but you you always respect the life that you lived and the life of you know others that shared with you you know and um, and so yeah I mean I would say that Sunzi is really about um, knowing how to interact with something that might need to end or um, you know you with something that you need to part ways with for for your life to get your life back but that doesn't mean that um, it didn't you know whatever uh, was in in your life in the past came to you for a reason and it served its purpose so it's like you know being okay with with the past being okay with the present and really um, you know acknowledging the the ever-changing body in the ever-changing life you know and there are some people that stay forever and there are some conditions that you know you know never never really change with your body but a lot of things are changing with your body a lot of things are changing with your life you know and that's that's what it's a lot of it's all about and you know if there's something solid and stable that just lasts forever I mean that's amazing and um, very very special but most of it um, is important and necessary to come and go you know and um, and that's that's what it's all about with those those people or those circumstances and but we really need to find peace and um, uh, gratitude for for everything you know and um, you know, like I said here, this this is kind of a difficult one with the um, Artica wine data because uh, I know that that that's a long, sustained, chronic condition that is is really um, traumatic. But um, really understanding that and and um, getting your strength and wisdom from these situations, um, you know, it 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 will help you move forward in in your mind in your life and um, you know it's every moment is new and it's you know it's always it's exciting to to get new life and to you know finally come out of 
a, a, an imprisonment in, of some form and, and move into a new experience of life with you know different people and different different things going on and uh you know to to look back and and really um i don't know understand understand the wisdom from the the circumstances you know from from the past and there is a lot of wisdom there i mean how things can camouflage themselves and how things can get so confusing and then when you get it all straightened out i mean it's almost like um a miracle to wake up to you know so um you know we have the fruitfulness that this is like the promise of of new life and movement uh, mental movement and um uh you know new new life and then um we have the insight from from our um from our experiences with people and also from our conditions of our body and our life uh, that that bring us insight into again the mysteries over here and um, and you know and, and bring up even bring us insight into the, maybe the reasons for for the imprisonment you know uh, and to me this this whole reading actually seems very integrated um, where you know this we're healing the chronic life conditions. We have the um, the wisdom and the knowledge of how to navigate things and how to deal with things and how to move on from things and use them for our assets. And it brings us the the fruitfulness and the insight that we need to um, you know gain gain a whole new life for ourselves and you know new experiences. So anyway. Um, I hope everyone got what they needed out of this today, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks a lot.